One remarkable young senator from Illinois captured the spirited hearts of the people with his promise to bring change to the status quo of American politics. One aspiring filmmaker's foresight led him on an amazing three and a half year journey to document a moment in history that would change the complexion of the nation and the world as we have seen it. I'm here to say hello from Timbuktu people. Each man's journey overlaps as they travel across the country, each following their own destiny, but unifying in a common objective. If I could get done what I think needs to get done in four years, even if it meant that I was only president for four years, I would rather be a good president taking on the tough issues for four years than a mediocre president for eight years. So, for a race of people who have been oppressed for centuries by the freest government in the world, through the brutal and inhumane institution of slavery, through the hypocritical and falsified proclamation of separate but equal society during the days of slavery. The road to the White House has been anything but pleasant and peaceful. From the creative mind of the groundbreaking urban documentary film Straight from the Streets comes the emotional voyage down memory lane, which culminates in the day that many people thought they would never live to see. This is God's plan. Everybody want to know, oh, it's a mystery. Oh, what is No, this is God's plan. He has lifted up Obama. The historical event that was hundreds of years in the making. The nation's 44th president and his first black president. From just before Senator Obama announced his candidacy to after he gave his first town hall speech as president in Costa Mesa, California. Road to the White House follows the man who gave all Americans the audacity to hope. I voted for you because I think that uh, you do a lot better job than Bush. I ain't knocking nobody, but I hope you do a real good job and I wish you the best. God bless America. And for critically acclaimed filmmaker, Keith O'Derrick, the decision to make the three and a half day drive from his home in Los Angeles, California to Washington, D.C. to film the inauguration was all worthwhile. Road to the White House. We've come a long way, but we have so far to go.